What's going on guys? Hope you're doing well. This is kind of a, a different video, but it's an interesting video. Hopefully. Maybe. I wanted to do this video for quite a while, just like, what do I use? Um, what kind of gear, PC setup is that? What is that thing? <laughs> um, this is uh, kind of the first video that I've ever done on this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to know what I use for editing, what I use for um, what I work on pretty much every day, the tools that I use, all this good stuff, cameras, PC build, and that juicy OLED ultra red monitor. It's fucking awesome. Hope you guys enjoy and yeah, let's get into it. So I've kind of been a computer nerd for quite a while and <laughs> I would like always watch these like desk setups of people. What's the, what's the best desk setup? Um, well, maybe this is the best desk setup um, for me at least, but um, yeah, anyways, so I have like this, this kind of thing with um, computers. I, I do have a Mac, like I've got uh, the M2 Pro over there that I use for photo editing, and I do play some music sometimes um, that is a mini Aki keyboard something like that um, these speakers are so much better than these speakers but uh, they're both by personas um, the difference between them is like these are like way more harsher um, or not harsher like more high-end um, boost and these larger eight inch uh, personas speakers is what they're called um i've had those ones for the longest time but these ones uh i would say are better quality but it kind of depends like because music is like super subjective audio is like really subjective actually <laughs> i just i like the sound of these um they're kind of equivalent to the Yamahas, but um, I would definitely choose the Personas over the Yamahas because they're way cheaper. Um, and they sound pretty much identical. Um, as for the PC that I'm using, um, I built this by myself uh, like two years ago, I think. One or, one or two years ago, something like that. It's got a GeForce, MSI 4090 and that is going to be like super a lot a lot better for um, video editing and rendering in DaVinci Resolve because I use um, that program like on a daily basis that's how I use produce all my videos and stuff um, for Photoshop and like Lightroom and stuff like that that's kind of better on the Mac but um I, this one is like no issue at all. I just kind of prefer the Mac interface for editing all my photos. Um, you kind of just got to do like, you know, what, what works for you and like what your personal preferences are. Um, I have the Corsair RGB um, Vengeance RAM and then a Leon Lee water cooler with the Leon Lee case and the Leon Lee um, uni fans. These are super dope. <laughs> I love the look of like the RGB stuff and RGB is like extremely like <laughs> trendy type of thing. It's definitely a waste of money, but um, anyways, I, I, I love the look of it. So I went with that, put that all together with uh, pretty much everything Leon Lee except for the Corsair uh, Vengeance DDR5 RAM and then I've got um, an M.2 uh, 2 terabytes NVMe drive or something like that 
Um, that is going to be like way faster for um, the OS, but I don't use it for like video rendering and stuff. I just use these um, little drives for um, editing all of my footage and stuff. And those gonna those are gonna save a whole lot of space because you, you don't really want your um, all of your massive like 4k video files on your OS uh, that's not a good idea but anyways um, that's what I use multiple of these drives and then I got the uh, pro art creator series motherboard into the PC and that is that that's gonna be like I don't know too much about it but it was pretty much like a night and day difference between the hero Asus hero motherboard um, that because it's got faster transfer speeds and stuff like that and Thunderbolt and all this other stuff that's <laughs> a huge like waste of money but um, it does work a lot faster than what I had previously um, for the monitor, I've got the Alienware 34-inch um, ultra-wide. That monitor is absolutely stunning for HDR video editing. Um, it's OLED, 175 hertz, um, super low response time. Um, by the way, I've got all the um, all the links if you want to check out on the description if you want to see any of that stuff um, the Asus uh, XG 27 inch HDR monitor for my secondary and then the keyboard what is the keyboard well it's a drop alt mechanical keyboard then I'm using the Logitech uh, mouse the razor <laughs> a razor uh, mouse mat and then audio interface I like focus right stream deck is so useful I love that little piece of tech tool and then the RGB kind of light behind my PC is the Govi um, flexible like rope light something like that and then I've just got a Govi floor lamp over there. I do like this. Um, they are, you can change like in the app, we got it connected to Wi-Fi. You can change all the, all the pretty colors and stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I have to film all of these videos that I make and photos. And yeah, I, I do a lot of editing. Um, I do build like some websites and stuff. I'm not really good at it though. I just use WordPress and uh, WordPress is like really, really kind of difficult to learn. <laughs> um, but I like learning and I like doing um, all kinds of, you know, editing and stuff. That That's like, <laughs> that's where I'm like best at is like color grading and, and stuff like that. Um, I don't like, um, what's it called? Uh, Premiere Pro, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't even use that program anymore because it's absolute garbage compared to DaVinci. I just wasn't a fan with it. It was uh, super slow all the time, crashed. Um, it's actually why I built this PC is because uh, DaVinci Resolve is, uh, it's like, for me, it's the best like editing PC for DaVinci Resolve and can also do photos. That's why I have, um, vertical monitor in that format um, so that I can edit my photos in horizontal or not horizontal vertical format um, everything horizontal the OLED monitor Alienware that one is uh, gonna be best for video editing obviously and if I want to clean feed into the other monitor then I'll just flip that one around um, it would be more useful to have like another monitor but I don't really want to spend the money for that. Um, but yeah, this is my my setup and maybe I wish I filmed uh, building that PC because that was a lot of fun. 
it was uh, kind of a pain, but I, I've built like 12 PCs so far now. Um, when I was like 15 years old, I would uh, mess around with computers and that's kind of when I got started into this whole like hobby and then it turned into editing videos for other people and um, just chopping up stuff in Premiere Pro. By the way, don't use that program, it's not good. I would opt for the DaVinci Resolve and it is free. Um, but uh, yeah, everything if you want to check out is in the description. If you want to check out any of the 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 build that I've got, um, it's a monster editing PC. Um, this PC will everything like the 4090 in specific uh, pretty much just renders videos like 4K file will render like a 25 minute video in about like five minutes, six minutes, something like that. It's pretty good for 10 bit because um, that's what I film on on A74. And um, yeah, that's kind of how you get the best like colors and stuff like that is at least an A74. Uh, wasn't really happy with the A73, so I sold that. Um, as far as the lens, um, right now I'm using the Tamron 28 to 75 lens and then I've got the G master lens which this is the 1.4 version and this is the best of the best like photo lens um, for taking photos um, I'm a little bit obsessed with this lens because it, it looks way better than the Tamron but um, yeah that's what I do I edit videos edit videos for people, building websites, and I just make content. Um, that and quite a few other things. But hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, hope you have a, a, a fantastic, fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.